Hello. Hi, Becca. Hi. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Before we get going, though, um, it's come to my attention that I need to make sure that anybody who is on my live streams or if you're in the chat and I happen to put your chat up in to the live stream and it becomes on video, I need to know that that's giving me permission to keep that on there. And Becca, of course, you give me permission to be on here, correct? Yes, I did. Uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry that I have to say that because I never really uh, knew that it, something like that could exist. But anyway, so if you're in my live chat and um, you don't want to take the chance of using your logo, your picture, or your comment, then don't comment. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's that's basically what I have to say about that. So now yeah. that that's over with. Anyway, thank you to Lil Barb again for our beautiful pictures that we got, like this one here. And um, Barb, check your, uh, write something because you should have a wrench, by the way. And I'll just say hello to everybody. Hello, hello, Sharon. Hello, Addi Addiction Mouse, Alice, Sean, Lil Barb, Mose, Rhonda, Kay. Jinxie, thank you all for being here. I, I don't recall. <laughs> so there we go. And guess what? I got a letter from Brandon. I got Yay. a letter from Brandon. I'm not going to go into all the details because that's between us, but he gave me a lot to write about. And um, I just, I am, I'm extremely excited that he wrote to me. And, you know, I was like so scared to write to him, but he gives me a lot to write back about, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm just so happy. I will continue to write to him and, and um, his birthday is coming up. So everybody, please send him a birthday card. This will be the 15th year that he has been without his family. And it's, it's sad and we don't want him to feel alone or that we forgot about him. So everybody get them birthday cards out, make one, color him a picture. He loves to color. So send him some things to color you know, as um, long as it's not, you know, pictures, like, I don't know, still the same thing, Becca, you can't have no um, internet kind of stuff on it or. Um, like so, that. yeah, I've been kind of testing it a little bit yeah. and it seems like he can have a look, because so far everything that I've sent him hasn't been sent back to me, which is a good sign of that, you know, because like I've been sending him some Snapchat things too, which used to be on the list of mail, but he's been getting it, so. Good. Um, to, it's good. funny that you mentioned the colored pens, the colored pages one, because um, I'm taking Jinx's suggestion, and this next uh, be Brendan Brave is actually colored pages. All right, that's so, great. I like so, that. Uh, if any, that's what the. So I'll just go ahead and jump and say that's what the be Brendan Brave theme is this week. Is um, if you, it's so simple too on how to do this. If you go to Google and you type in, like, let's say type in Pikachu. Type in Pikachu and then color pages and then, you know, get the photo option and then you'll have a whole, a whole bunch of different kinds of things you can print off and do. So all I'm asking for you all to do is just save those and then post it on one of the posts that I have and then I'll print them off for you and then send it to him. And you can do any kind of thing you want. He loves, you can do dragonflies, he likes Pokemon, you can do um, cats, you can do whatever. And um, as an added bonus, there is a Jinx, Mystic Jinx. She did draw a heart thing that um, that she she sent to Brendan. I still have to send it myself. Yeah, I was just gonna say things. Um, it, I'm gonna post that too, if that's okay. And if everyone wants to do just as like an added activity for this week, for just to like for something fun, if if you guys want to print that page off and color it in and send it to him, just a thought. Um, I was going to do it. I think she said she did it. 
I know I'm going to. I'm sorry, I was having a little bit of trouble there. It's for some reason it's not allowing me to make a mod, and I don't get why. I don't understand. A little barb, I'm I'm trying to get you to be a mod, and it's not letting me. And I don't know why I'm doing it the way that I was told to do it. It says add mod, I add mod, and it says little barb is now a moderator. But I don't know. You don't come up blue, so we'll work this out anyway. At some some time i guess <laughs> but also hello bridget blair is in our chat and everybody there is a link in the description and it's for bridget's um um to i'm so bad at these things at um the gofundme uh, page she is um needing some help for some serious medical issues that she is having and um they're you know it's to help pay for some meds and um, get her the care that she is desperately in need of. So if you can, please add to her GoFundMe. Um, I was having trouble with the link before, but I worked it out. And, um, you know, it's, it seems to be working great. And so please, everybody, if you can help bridge it out, it would be wonderful. Um, um, she, I really don't want to get into the details. I know she suffers from cancer. I don't know all of the details, but... I'm sure she's more than willing to share anything with you if you need to know anything. But as I said, the GoFundMe's down there. Let's let's you know show some love and and do what we can for her. And that was a very another very important announcement. So there, now I got my announcements out. <laughs> I was kind of nervous about announcing all some of these things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, no worries. Yeah. But uh, well, we love you, Bridget. You're a great supporter. So. You know, if we can help, we definitely will. Now, no, it's not. Why is it not letting you be a moderator? I don't get it. <laughs> it says, it says, Barb is now a moderator. Anyway, we'll work it out, little Barb. I'm trying. <laughs> so anyway, I want to say just a little bit about my letter. Um, he gave me all, like, all of his likes and dislikes and asked me mine. And um, he thanked me very much for doing this. And um, I want to thank him for allowing me to do it, really, because it makes me feel really good to know that I'm out here um, speaking for Brendan, kind of in a way, and getting other people to speak his name. And um, we were kind of talking today. I'm not really quite sure how to do it, but I think that we should maybe, you know, give the old dove maybe some snail, snail mail, the, you know, the regular Mail because he doesn't look at Twitter. He don't look at you know what I mean. He could brush us off. So let's pile some letters on him. Um, let's write to the governor and start. I, I'll write him twice a, month, a week. I can do that. You know, it only takes a few minutes to write down. Please look at Brendan's case. Look at it personally. Do the right thing. Um, free Brendan. You know, just a few words if if that's what it is. But I think that it's harder to miss uh, physical mail. Than it is to just kind of bypass the internet mail. You know what I mean? You can just go home and scroll. This you either have to look at or completely throw away. And if we start sending them a bunch of things, maybe he will look at it. Worth a try, right? You know, and and honestly, even if everyone did like all three things, Twitter, right. email, snail mail, yep. what, I do you know, Twitter, yep. I think it's just as long as like he he has to see us eventually. And that's, that's kind of where I'm feeling is like so frustrated with it. Like you have to see us eventually and see what we're saying. Like, and, and the, at least like address it to the point where it's like, why did you deny it? When you know, like he, he's got to know. Brandon yeah. Wants it. yeah. Um, and it's easy to cover up when you're a governor and you got other people looking at your stuff and you yeah. can hide some of that stuff. So I think if we started throwing some letters and where would we send it to? Well, we would send it right to um, the governor's mansion, um, which I'm sure you can find out, or we could send it to the, um, what is it? Um, um, you know, what I could probably do is, is that I will look for a address and then I'll put it on Twitter and then and yeah. then we can all just start sending it to that. Right. Because there is an address, I'm sure that oh. you can send. Michelle's got it up there. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, Super there you go. Yes, 
There's the address that we will send our lovely letters to the governor about yep. freeing Brendan. So that is good. And I mean, keep them nice. Don't send no. I mean, Brendan would not want anything sent that was not yeah, very respectful and classy. So please keep that in mind. As frustrated as you might get, just keep it well, like Richard Air Air Cozy used to say, keep it classy for Dassey. So yeah, let's everyone do that. Needs Everyone needs to remember that we are representing Brendan yes. Dassey when we yes. speak on his behalf to the governor or anybody. Um, so we need to make sure that we keep it appropriate and something that Brendan would be proud of. Yeah, exactly. I am I am very adamant about making sure that even in my tweets, they're not mean, they're they're straightforward. They're, you know, take a look at it and do the right thing. And free Brendan Dassey, please take this personally and look at it. Um, you know, um, if I miss this book, can you send Brendan? Can we send Brendan books or magazines? I think you can send Okay, maybe. so here's, here's the official answer to that. And I will say, yes, you can send Brendan books and magazines, but you have to do it in a very specific way. Um, you have to go on to Amazon.com and you have to pick the magazines, first of all, have to be approved through the prison. Um, that Because that, you can't do like staples and you can't have like pullouts and stuff like that. They have to be very specific for the prison. So that like part... None of that stuff. Right? Yeah, that part I'm not 100% sure of. Um, I can ask somebody... I could think of I could think of one person I could ask actually um, about that because I know that they've actually signed him up for magazine subscriptions, so he can yeah. get magazines. Books. Yeah. He has to get books through Amazon, and they have to be brand new, and they have to be from Amazon. They cannot right. be from an outside thing that you can buy from Amazon. So right. it's very. Now, the thing with the books is that he can only have a certain amount of books. Sorry, with the hair. He can only have a certain amount of books in his cell or on him at all times. I don't remember the exact number. I want to say it's between 15 and 20 books. I could be very wrong. Um, the thing is, is that when you send him a book, he has to have 15 on him, either coming or going. So if you send him a book and he's already at cap with his books and he's not done reading his books, then he neither has to send that home or send a book that he already has on him home. And keep in mind that he doesn't have visitors right now. So it's kind of hard to give it to his mom to take home. Well, and even, because he mail even, before, him. even before he had to mail him and that comes from his oh. own pocket. Okay. Um, so what says I said, that there's a list of Amazon on Facebook. She said someone see, was keeping a list. See that, um, but I don't talk to that person who holds that list, okay. first of all. Second of all, um, don't go there then. <laughs> well, and then second of all, all right, so the problem with the Amazon list is that if when that person puts all those books on that list, people tend to rush and then they buy them all and then he gets it in like a bulk of like all these books. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to tell you what you need to do if you want to send Brendan a book. Write him a letter. Ask him, I want to send you a book. And then he will write you back and let you know what book he might want. Or two, if you have a book you want to send him, he will let you know, yes, please do send me that book now. Yeah. He told me about the book he's reading right now. So yeah. it, look, it looks kind of interesting myself, even though I'm not a reader. I mean, he, him telling me about it was like, hey, I don't have to buy that book. He's got a good description. Yeah. Uh, now, the, like, I don't want to like, I don't want to like, it's no, it's no problem, Michelle. I just don't want to like knock the whole um, Amazon list. I think that was a great idea in theory. It's just like I said, when that person puts all those books suggestions on the Amazon list and then everyone rushes to go buy a book for him, which is great, but then he gets 30 books at once. You know right. what I mean? And then it kind of, that's why I'm saying, if ever you want to send him a book or something, please just write him a letter and ask him. If you want to buy him something from his commissary, write him a letter and ask him. 
he will tell you he he's very honest with that stuff and he will say yes you can send the book or right maybe wait a week or two you know what i mean but there we go i'm just putting out if my mods want to keep putting this up that would be nice uh oh i'm frozen I know I'm not frozen. <laughs> I'm frozen looking at the other. I was on the other page looking at you. Yeah, I don't. You know, <laughs> and honestly, I don't. I, if it's the person that, like, I don't talk to that person, she has me blocked. So I, I don't know what she has arranged. So if she does have something arranged with you guys, then great. Um, but as far as I know, um, I my advice would be go directly to him and ask him. Because I, I honestly, though, I've had quite a few people come to me and ask, and it's worked out fine the way I've been telling them to do it. <laughs> so, um, but you know, it's it's each prerogative. If everyone wants to do the Amazon wish list thing, then you know, I don't. But I don't. That person has me blocked. I don't have any info to that. I can't say. And I'm not sharing yeah. it if you don't know about it because yeah, my, I don't. I, can, I, I have no info about it. Like so, right. but that's like great information. And yeah, I got lots of I get it from you. And then of course, um, his mom or um, a Barbara yeah, or, his, or, his, or Carla is a good one to ask if you in their Facebook. They're more than willing to answer any questions. And that's also in the description. I pretty much much put everything you can do in the in the description below, um, including if you have any questions we haven't answered, you can talk to contact Barb or Carla. They are the spokesperson yeah. for Brendan. Uh, yeah, so that's the other thing is if you do want to send him something and, you know, um, you, you can always ask Barb and Carla, yeah. but yeah. I have a Wi-Fi. It's not, probably not you, Bridget. It's probably me freezing up. I mean, my Wi-Fi seems to do this to me on Fridays around the same time. Me and Becca will be freezing. Then we're there. It's, you know, yeah. low-budget Linda Productions. <laughs> but, yeah. But, like, I don't, like, I, I also want to say, like, I don't want to knock the person who's doing the Amazon uh, list. I, I just don't. I don't have any info on it, and I don't want to promote that. So, but, um, yeah, um, also I did want to also say, um, I know everyone probably saw Brad's tweet and Facebook says about Brendan being, um, in quarantine right now or not quarantine, um, lockdown. Um, now's a good time. If any time to send him a letter, a card, anything, picture, uh, anything you want to do that has to do with or anything anything positive or whatever um, he's not getting he's not able to call home right now and he's also um, I don't I don't think he has full access to the things he used to do so I think right now letters is like the only thing he's really getting as far as that goes so it took me a while to get mine. Um, I don't know how long it took him to get it, the one I sent to him, but I just got mine yesterday. And I think I talked to you beginning of last week. He got mine pretty quick, I think, actually. I'm not sure. Honestly, I think it wasn't that long ago right. when I when I talked to you about it. Right. I, and he got, I felt so dumb because it's like, he can't read my writing. I hope he can. <laughs> I'll have to slow down. He writes really nice and clear. You can see it. To me, I'm nervous and I'm you know, I write big and bulky and I was just, you know, I was so nervous. It was like, oh, you know, but yeah. I'll get better. And I definitely am looking, you know, you notice how I was always like, oh, I don't want to write him. I don't write. I'm getting, I'm looking forward to sitting down with pen and paper and, and writing back to him, you know, because he really brightened my day because it, I've got a little bad news going on in my family right now. But um, it, it brightened my day. It was nice. It was very nice to see that he is so, he just makes me smile. <laughs> he just yeah. made me, you know? So, I love yeah. getting, yeah, I love getting Brendan letters. I don't get them as often because of the email thing, but I do get one or two every once in a while. And I'm always like, yeah, Brendan letter. <laughs> it's always better than to get that handwritten letter. I think she grows. I'm passing out late slips to Catnit and T1. Shh, shh, there you go. 
<laughs> and that's how we handle it on Linda Low Budget Productions. There's your slips. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> but um but yeah, um other than so just make sure you get a card or a letter out to him. Let him know that you're thinking of him during this time. Um and you know, also if you want to start getting those birthday cards, a great website for birthday cards if anybody wants to know is moonpig.com. I know yeah, a lot of that up here. Yeah, um, I know a lot of overseas people use that. Yeah, Moo, yeah, where was it? Um, oh, it was Michelle um, St Starzaker. Starzaker? I'm going to say. Yeah. I'm sorry, dear. I'm really, ask Carolyn how bad I was. It. I mean, now I say her name. So, excuse me. I'll just say Michelle S. She said, I love sending him mo moon pig cards, which I personalize by sending him photos of where I live. So that's great. Yeah. yeah. Those moon pig cards are awesome. They get to him at like two or three days after you order them and you can send different kinds and you can, you know, customize them. It's great. So that's definitely just remember though, if you do buy a card through the store, no glitter, no stickers, no scent, no, no pop, -out. pop outs. Yeah. 3D, yeah. I, I want to tell you, if this does not show you what a wonderful inside and outside person he is, and we'll share this with you. He shared his dislikes with me, and one of them stuck in my head very, very strongly. And it said he does not like anyone who abuses children or women. Now, that just made me, my heart sing, you know. I mean, he's, you know, like spiders and stuff like that. But when he said that, I thought, what a... That goes to show you what a true, kind human being he really is. You know what I'm saying? I just was like, that's wonderful. That is so wonderful, Lee. You know, a lot of people won't, they'll just say they don't like it. But he actually wrote it in, in pen. I hate people who abuse women and children. Yes, Brendan. <laughs> I love that. I mean, you know, most people get hard in prison. He does yeah. not. He is a gentle soul, very gentle soul. And you can tell. And I'm really looking forward to writing them again. I'm going to put in some questions and maybe I'll try some, you know, like that trivia back and forth, you know, like I was talking about before you ask him a question and then he'll, you know, yeah. give you the answer. That to me sounds like something you could ongoing, you know, maybe I'll make him a word scramble or something. You know, I used to do that, um, send a few of my friends word scrambles, you know, I'd make one myself, you know, and put the letters in and then they'd have to find search for the words and it would be a message, you know. You know, yeah. like, I love you, or I'm thinking of you, or something like that. So that was kind of fun to do. Maybe I'll get back into doing that. I mean, you can really get creative with letters. And, oh, I, yeah. and at first, I was like, eh, what am I going to do? What am I going to write about, you know? I write about me, and he's in there, and I feel guilty. He gave me plenty to write about in just the letter he sent me. So if you're thinking the same way I was, give it a chance. Give him a little letter. I mean, I just wrote him a, a simple page letter, and... And I got back so much that I can write to him. It, it's great. He's been doing that for very well for a while. I'm sure he gives people something to for, to think about, and um, you get to know Brendan a little bit of what he lets you in on. And to me, that's great. I think that's just marvelous that he is able to build outside relationships with his supporters, which um, to him mean the world. It, yeah. it, they do, you know. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just I'm just kind of floating around like I'm really happy. <laughs> All I can keep saying is I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I got a letter. I got a letter from Brendan. <laughs> you know, I loved it, and I was so worried when I got it yesterday. I was so happy. And here's my letter. And when I got it yesterday, I was like, oh, I got it. I got it. And I was so happy that I, I went like this and I put it down in the car. And I thought I lost it, so I called my mom. Mom, do is Brendan's letter in the car? because <laughs> she dropped me off at my little nanny job and I would thought I might have kicked it out of the car and then I'm checking out my backpack everywhere and I couldn't find it and my mom texts me back don't worry I have it I put it on your table and I was like thank you <laughs> I would have hated to lose the first letter I got from Brendan question does Brendan have any close friends need any help books etc he's a giver maybe we can help 
Damn. Um, T1, I think if you go and contact Fen, uh, you know mm -hmm. who Fen is. She is one that um, has a list of people that Brendan would like people to write to. Yeah, let me. Yeah. And um, her at her Twitter on. is at Fen M N. Yeah, and she does. Yeah, like Linda said, she has a list yeah. of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Contact her. She will be able to help you. And that's because I know that was something she was doing. So, because Brendan is yeah. a good person and he does want some of people that don't get any mail or have any family, um, you know, to be written to. So that's a good, another good thing to do is write to some of his buddies or well, people that he thinks are lonely, you know? Yeah. A lot of them are really good friends with him that, that he's known for a while and they're, I've written to one or two of them and they're really nice, decent people. So, um, yeah, if you want to connect with one of his friends, let's do that. And honestly, they're not really asking for anything other than just a letter. Yeah. Just to make communication with the outside world. Yeah. Oh, um, Caroline says, yes, I wrote to a friend of Brendan's. He speaks so highly of Brendan and calls Brendan his best friend and brother. He seemed so appreciative of my letter. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he is. And yeah. yeah. I bet Brendan is a lot of people's best friends there because he is a kind soul and, you know, he's just really good. Yep. There. There's Fen right there. She will send you a DM. So there you go. Because I know Fen was doing that. So it's the right person to keep getting in contact with. So anything new? Oh, you sold a couple more paintings, I think. Um, I still have one personal painting. I do have a couple of paintings that I've done that are more Halloween spooky. Um, <laughs> Halloween spooky? Yeah. Um, let me find my... I had them. Oh, no. Oh, uh -oh. there. Oh, there. I even have them in my Brendan bag. Oh, yeah. By the way, I love your mask. By the way, I really do like your mask. Oh, in the back? No, the mask that you made that says. Oh, yeah. That yeah. is really nice. You know, I said right away, I must have one. <laughs> so. It, yeah, I, I made my own because the masks that. Um, the mask. I, I have to have a specific mask. I, I'm really finicky about it, but. Um, Here's one painting I did recently. It's with a pumpkin and a dragonfly. I and like then, it. Halloween. Come here, honey. Yeah. And then here's another one I did. See, that's Becca paints. That's cool. Say hi to Becca. Hi. Say hi. hi. Say hi. Who are you? This is Layla, my granddaughter. Hello. I think I'm going to use this on clay. She's a crafty child, so she's oh, coming in to get craft uh, supplies. Ooh, some good yeah. guys. <laughs> so, here you go. Go ahead, honey. Let me finish. I'll be done in a minute. Okay. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, they those, see you. Those Brendan paintings are the ones that are available on my Etsy, and all the proceeds go to him. Yep, I got a few more paintings I'm doing. They're not even dry yet, but and Bridget, yours should be in the mail. And Becca, yours are in the mail. And there. So, yeah, I'm kind of a procrastinator. Um, Sean says hi, Layla. Michelle says hi. Katnit says hi. Everybody says hi. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, um, Becca, weren't we talking about doing this, like um, getting some of the crafters together and- uh, It was, yeah, it, it was an idea that I have and I haven't, gone, I haven't gone to Barb yet or mentioned it to Brendan. Um, okay, all right, we'll wait for that. So, well, it's so like, and I'll just put it out there anyway, because like if anybody wants to be a part of it that does artsy stuff and, or like any kind of artsy stuff and you're interested in, in helping support Brendan, um, I'm, I'm basically going to try to get together a group of artists who want to donate their art to be sold or all the money goes to Brendan. 
and it's either stuff that you have that you just want to get rid of or stuff that you want to create in honor of Brendan. Mm -hmm. Um, I still have to talk to Barb and I still have to, I have to ask Brendan how he feels about it too. I, I want to do that first before I make any like plan oh, plans. Plan. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure but there'll I be a lot of people have, that'll be in, but that I, it's good to get permission. Yeah. And I've, I've, I've already had like you and I think uh, a few other people who have mentioned that they would like to be a part of it. So if anybody else wants to be a part of it, um, just send me a DM on Twitter or Facebook, and well, I'll I'll add you to the list um, for for the possibility of that. And and I don't see any problem in, of it going through. Um, the only thing is, this, like, I might have to do a Facebook page for it, but like, I don't really, I don't know. I, I don't know. I can do it. it. It don't matter. We can figure something out. We can do it on here. Yeah. We can have a, we can have a show of, of pictures that before or after our live stream that show it and where to contact people. If we have to, we'll figure it out because if there's yeah. a well, there's a way. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so yeah, Michelle posted my SB, um, my SB link. Like I said, all the stuff in there that's Brendan oriented, which is basically things like dragonflies, all the money goes to him on that. And then I am going to try to go to uh, in October to Wisconsin on Brendan's birthday um, that, yep. to, to go in front of the governor's office and just stand there with a sign. I'm not, I'm not planning on making it a rally or anything. I just want to make sure that he sees his name on his birthday. Like that's my goal of the day. I, if I can, if, like I said, if I, if I can make it up there, with this kind of stuff going on that's been going on a little bit here. Yeah. Um, I definitely am going to be right next to you, Becca. I will be next to you with a big yeah. sign too. Um, I'll be writing it on my face. It don't matter. I want him to pay attention. I want him to see Brendan's name and I want him to, to see it, to remember it and, and do something about it. You know what I mean? And I'm sure yeah. Michelle, if you could be there. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of us would be there. Yeah, I'm going to be able to make it, but if we can, then do it. Which also, yeah. real quickly, if I can get this in, um, Sharon Sunshine, who is in our chat, um, is having an event um, that is very, it is made with a ton of love, a ton of time. And uh, Richard McAdam, Eric Ozzy's family, and Sharon got together and made um, this wonderful uh, bunch of videos, I mean, about wrongful convictions and it's going to run straight for is it 36 hours sharon i'm not sure but um uh we're gonna make sure that we watch that because it's definitely made with love and we all you know it's something um eric cozy really wanted to be a part of and unfortunately he's not able to so i think we're gonna thankful to sharon and and his family for making this available for us to still have him here in a sense. So please um, check out Sharon Sunshine's channel. I will put that in the description because I just looked and I didn't put it in there. Sorry, Sharon. Um, I thought I did. I kind of have so much trying to remember to make sure everybody says it's okay to be on here and this and that, you know, and all that. And my letter from, from Brendan just kind of took me over the edge. Hi, Dr. Silkman. Floor is yours again. I just wanted to make that announcement for Wrongful Conviction Day, which is October 2nd. And I think it starts somewhere in three in the morning or something like that, UK time, which will be like 7.30 crunch time, I believe. So as it's put, um, you'll be seeing a lot of links flying around because I'm definitely going to be sharing the heck out of them. <laughs> there it is. Catnit, of course, did it. So, floor's yours again, Becca. <laughs> oh, I. What was I saying? Oh, oh. Um, ben, oh. Ben Innocence Network is also doing a huge event on October second, before Sharon's event. So please try to watch out for that too, because we definitely yeah, get everybody in there. I know there's a definite, there's a few things that are happening uh, that day as far as that stuff goes. Um, but yeah, no, I, 
Um, I was just going to say um, from now until probably when I leave for uh, um, uh, Wisconsin, um, all the I'm basically selling art for gas money. So if anybody does want to buy like a piece of art, all that money is going to go to the gas money to to drive to Wisconsin. Um, it's still kind of, uh, I would say, a 75% chance of me going, though, because of work. But I might, I don't want to say call in sick, because I don't want anyone that I know to be watching this to think that I'm going to call in sick, but it, it's probably going to happen. <laughs> it's going to go one way or another. And my but yeah, one way or another, I want to show up for, even if it's just for that one day, showing up for three hours or so, just standing there with the sign and then heading right. back home. Like, exactly. Exactly. I live uh, I live about 2,000 miles away. Somebody asked me if yeah. I live near him. I don't. Um, <laughs> but I'm willing to, to, to do the drive um, to, to go. I'll write you a note. Kate, Katniss says she'll write you a note. <laughs> <laughs> to, give to give it to I him, think, yeah. I think you could get thousands of notes if you needed them. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I wasn't like I was saying before. I'm not planning on making this a uh, uh, right a rally or anything. If anyone wants to show up and stand there with me, you're more than welcome to. But I, this is but this is just me like winging it, just showing up with a sign. Like I'm not, I'm not. Um, endorsed by anything or anyone um i do have brendan's approval uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. be there, I, so. I asked him like you know how would you feel if i did that he's like go for it so i'm like cool yep that's so, that <laughs> always makes it worth it doesn't it because you know yeah. he likes you it really makes did i freeze or did she freeze <laughs> It's that time again. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if it's me or if it's her. Um, so but yeah, that's that's basically the plan that I have uh, to do. And uh, okay, so this is that. Okay. Low there budget she is. Linda Productions. <laughs> there we go. Low budget Linda Productions at its best. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just like, well, I have a new internet provider, so I was just kind of like, is it me again? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's me. It's Friday. It's me, and it always seems to happen. Um, I don't know about that, you know, Xfinity. That's what seems to do it. It's the witch tower. Yes, it's bad. Yes, it is. But, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my plan. So if anyone does want to... To, to meet me out there and stand with me awesome um if you know if maybe i will bring a bunch of notes from everyone and we can read them aloud in front of his office sure. <laughs> my granddaughter how long are you gonna be nana i'm like 10 minutes oh can i just sit here i'll be real quiet <laughs> 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 <coughs> okay, now don't interrupt. <laughs> anyway, so. how long would it take for me to get into the governor's office? It would probably take a uh, two and a half days. <laughs> yes, Doctor Silkman, let's do a GoFundMe for so Linda can get a real internet instead of the. <laughs> Is she crazy again? Running in a cage. <laughs> a mouse running in a cage. <laughs> the supply power. Oh, that's cute, Dr. Silkman. <laughs> Am I out again? Are you in? Do you hear me, Becca? <laughs> I've lost it at this point. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, dear. Yeah, Nana. Dr. Silkman's killing me. <laughs> I'm mouse ready in a cage. I have two yeah. of them. Does that count? <laughs> Oh. That mouse on the wheel that keeps turning for your internet. Yeah, squeaky. <laughs> eek, 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 eek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the internet honky, honky kononky. <laughs> I don't know, hooky kooky. I don't know what it says. I'm so bad at reading. 
I'm so bad at reading. Which reminds me, go check out Foul Play. They're doing the trial transcripts, and they got some wonderful actors doing this. They are, you're not, I mean, Ken Kratz shows up himself. We got a link. We have them all. <laughs> so check that out if you have not. And the Discord is in the description. Please join it if you want to be a part of a team that is really great people. Whoa. Great people, fun, um, uh, talk about supportive. They're all very supportive, very open-minded. You'll never find, you will not find a community like this there. So please do check it out and join. I think I've got, boy, have I done announcing everything yet, Beck? I just don't know. I think that's it. As I mentioned, be Brendan Brave. I mentioned. No, ma'am, you didn't. I will be quiet while you do so. Yes, you did. Isn't it coloring pages? Yes, it's coloring pages. Yes, coloring pages. Okay. So, yeah, so, go find those coloring pages and uh, get ready to post them on my on the post that I'm going to post soon once I get my stuff together. Yeah. So, coloring pages, <laughs> write to the governor, and that uh, address is in here. Screenshot it, get it, use it, you know, um, which reminds me. Um, we're going to have a guest here, Becca, um, that said, said they would be on um, like two times ago, but I wasn't on. So, and this time I forgot to bug them. So the next time we might have, you know, that, that internet sleuth, um, I think he goes by the name of Ripper, Jack <gasps> Gaper. So, Ripper! Um, he did promise me through Nosy when they were on here to come and do a show. So... I'm going to link them into that, make them, you know, come um, he's a very big supporter. And um, in fact, he's one of the first people that I've ever looked at outside of, you know, Eric Cozy. I found him and then it was, you know, a few duds and then there was Eric Cozy. So yeah, I respect the guy very much and he's doing wonderful things for um, the Don Lewis um, family. And he's done wonderful things for Highland Community College and um, he's, of course, been on the um, MAM community for a very long time since the get-go. So if you haven't, go see, go check him out. He's really great. Um, and we have Just Rhonda, who has started up her channel talking about Daniel Houseclaw. So make sure you see him. And also Rich uh, Mitch from Twitter has started up a new um, YouTube um, channel, too. And he will be talking about wrongful convictions. And he's talking about... Um, from the innocent, uh, innocent man, um, uh, Tommy, I think his name is, uh, um, is, is it Tommy? The one that's still in there and he's yeah, Tommy on a, Ward. Yep. Tommy Ward. Thank you. And, yeah. um, he also is doing Daniel Holesclaw and of course he's in the ma'am community too. So I'm sure you'll be doing some of that. So there's some new people out there to go check out and give them a like and a subscribe and, um, you know, let's let's keep it all going. You know what I mean? So, um, geez, I, I don't know if I can, if I, you know, have anything else to say or I think I yeah, did it. I don't know if I, I'm actually writing down the, the, the address real quick for The watermark is running out of toilet paper. What is that? Oh, it must have been something from... from a, a previous conversation. I'm trying to get you up on, see what I'm missing here. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, uh, Governor Tony Ebers, 115 East State Capitol, Madison, Wisconsin, 53702. So I'm gonna okay. send a letter off today to him and I'm gonna do the same thing um that Linda suggested I'm probably gonna write him a couple of times a week because I have a lot to say. Yes. I, I think <laughs> we all get the snail mail snail mail. Say that three times. Snail mail. Snail mail. Because then he has yeah. to see it physically. He will have to physically um, look at it. Yeah. You know, and like I said before, um I don't think you know do what's comfortable for you as far as how you want to reach him or support or whatever, um, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing any of the options, and especially if you do all three. So, <laughs> oh, 
Just as long as you're doing something, I guess, right? I don't know what sh Catnip put up. It must be. Oh, it's the Innocence Network event. Thank you, Catnip, for putting that up there. Um, so we make sure that everybody gets to that too. So we can, you know, check out everybody. Everybody that's doing something, they're doing it for uh, no pay, no glory. They just want to help. And that's what we're here for. And we want to make try to make Brendan's life a little more brighter by connecting with him. So that's what we're doing here. And we definitely want to honor um, Sharon's hard work because I know she worked very, very hard on this project along with the family, which which to me means a lot if they're doing that so soon after his passing. I really want to respect that. And of course, the Innocent Network, we got uh, Ricky Kidd. Um, I, I do believe um, Tracy's, um, but basically a lawyer is going to be uh, a part of that. And I think Jason Strong, and I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm if I'm, I'm kind of going back on some memory, but I've had some things going on, you know. So, um, you know, but get on it, guys. Uh, pay attention to all the links we put out. They're there for a reason. October second. Yep. yep. And Brendan's birthday. Don't forget October nineteenth. Yep. Yep. October nineteenth. So there we go. I think I've. Announced everything. I <laughs> yes, so, I, give yeah. I give permission for my name to be up there. <laughs> so, thank you, everybody. If Becca doesn't have anything else, or if there's no questions, or anybody else doesn't have anything we want to announce, um, I guess we're done. If you have something you want to announce, I'm, I'm more than happy to do so. That is if it's clean. <laughs> I, might, I might share some dirty things, but not right here. <laughs> and my granddaughter's getting easy. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it so very much. Um, um, thank you, Sharon, um, for doing what you're doing. Um, thank you, Innocence Network. Thank you, Becca, for all you do. Um, you know, and... Just everybody, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I know Brenda does. And I get to read my letter 500 more times and answer them questions. Because <laughs> he has a yeah, lot of them. A, if anything to take away from this, please, please send Brendan a letter. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Send him a letter. I mean, it is a great thing to. I don't know, know if, if Jace is still uh, listening. Um, you're the next one that my personal project on getting to send him a letter. So. Yeah, let's yeah let's get let's get on the, and find out if we can start doing these crafting things and letting some people yeah. hear in let some everybody. of the very beautiful art that people do. I mean, there's a lot of crafters in this community that do lots of things. I mean, they from knitting to crocheting to origami to painting to clay. I mean, there's tons of artists in our community that are hidden and I'm um, sure they would love to share or donate their stuff for Brendan and a good cause. I'm all on it. I know I've seen a few people on here said no problem. So, you know, let's let's not forget to um, donate to Bridget and Bridget's cause. Um, it is a life-saving um, thing that she is asking for. It's very much needed medical um, treatment and medicines. And very high, high. I know it's from cancer. I'm not sure what what type. Like I said, I'm not going to divulge that. That is completely up to her. Um, but I'm sure she is not afraid to answer any questions. And oh, jewelry makers too, Sharon. Yes, love people love jewelry. So um, I'm just a, I'm happy to be a part of this community and be able to share these things and put it out there for everybody. And I thank you all very much for being here. And Becca, of course, it's always nice seeing you. I see you more now than I did before, and I love it. <laughs> Anything else? No, I think that's it for me. You sure? Am I sure? I think so. Okay. I, probably, I probably have forgotten something, but. I'm trying to think if you did. I don't but think I... so. I got me Brendan Brave and then sent him a letter and. October 19th and uh, paintings and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's all I got. Why do you want um, to just say that? Huh? 
Um, Dr. Slipman goes, can we discuss bats? I love bats. I think they're cute. Yeah, I don't mind and bats. I've but... always wanted a pet bat, and I would feed it fruit. Great show. And, I don't know and, uh, it's, and it's, it's Halloween. It's, it's Halloween time, and bats love Halloween. Remember the purple ones. Purple bats. Purple bats. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I know somebody that loves bats. Like, um, 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 what's her name? Um, oh gosh, she's got a YouTube channel. It's Sharon's friend. Oh, I can't remember what her name is, but I, I love her. She's just great. She's got bats all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nice to I see actually you might ever. that might be something I paint actually with the whole friend. I oh, was doing Kazbat. that's her name, Kazbat. Check out her channel. She's true crime too, and she's great. Oh my gosh, that woman's got a voice. <laughs> Join the Discord, write to Brendan, give him cards, write to the governor. We might see you um October in Wisconsin. And we're definitely gonna be on the uh internet here. Checking that out on um, October 2nd. There sounds like there's a full event going on for a couple days. So I'm sure we'll all get our fill of being a mammaholic, you know. Check out the trial um, videos. They're, listen, they, I, I, I got to tell you, they're great. The voices people are doing, fantastic. It, it really adds spice to it. It makes it a lot of fun. So I mean, please check it out. We have, you know, Sean, <laughs> who's in there, and we have a head of honor in there. I mean, he's Scottish, but I don't know what his voice sounds like in the trial, but it's a lot of fun, and they're having a lot of fun doing it. So please check out everybody that you can and um, show them some love, and because it's very important that we all talk about it, like what we're doing here, just talking about it, even if we don't have anything planned, and I look like a bubble, blumble, blah, 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 fool on low budget questions, I'm still talking about it. Then that's all you really got to do, right? So with that, I am going to say to everybody, thank you very much. And as I always say, please be kind and keep others in mind. And we'll see you later. <laughs>